my underlying philosophy is I, every golf course that I do, I try to give the greatest amount of pleasure to the greatest number of golfers. Uh, we're taking up a huge amount of area on the planet every time we do a golf course. And you want as many people to go out and enjoy that. And by that, you're also growing the game. The fact that the PGA were involved um, meant that there was a certain requirement to produce a golf course that was going to challenge the players that came and played the golf course. But for me, that fitted right into what I consider to be the most important aspect of golf design, and that is to create a golf course that can actually challenge the very best players, but at the same time provide an opportunity for the average player to have fun. What I've tried to do with this golf course is try to make it a thinking man's golf course, and I've tried to make it a shot maker's golf course. And largely we've done that by being certain that the fairway bunkering is in the correct position, and if it's not fairway bunking, it's bunkering, it's in the form of another hazard, maybe the, the camber of the, of the slope of the golf hole, which means that a player looks like he has 50 metres of fairway to hit the ball, but in fact it's only 30. So it's more like a game of chess, where you need to get into this position to take advantage of the next shot. We've actually got a very tough start to this golf course. The first and second holes are two very, very tough holes, two very challenging holes. Now, I don't mind that in principle, because in a championship, when you stand on the first tee, and all of us who've played at a professional level know what the tension is when you stand on that first tee. There's anticipation, there's nervousness, the hands are a bit sweaty, you're hyped up, ready to go. And there's nothing like throwing a beast of a hole at a player right out of the out of the gates just to find out what he's made of. And the first hole here is a hole that does that. The second is probably still will either be the probably the hardest part three on the golf course because the angle of the green doesn't allow you to make too many errors. So those two holes are tough. And then the course sort of settles down and, and flows into a fairly nice pattern somewhere through the middle with one or two reasonably good holes, uh, reasonably tough holes. But eights are short par four and nine's a short par five in today's terms. So you, you give the players got a little break there, but then they head into the back nine. And what I always wanted was a strong finish because by having a strong finish, when you're under the, the pump to win the golf tournament, that's when the nerves really start to show. You really have to work hard on your concentration and, and, and on shot by shot play. So the 15th is a par five, reachable in two, but if you make a slight error on that, you could, you could pay a, a very severe price. On the other hand, you might make an eagle there. So there's a two shot swing on that hole. 16 again, just play a loose shot there and you'll make bogey, play a good shot and you'll make birdie. 17, increased by 40 meters now. Tee shot's now demanding, whereas before players were taking irons from the tee. An iron shot, uh, you know, when you're, when you're coming down the stretch, being able to take an iron out and still make a birdie doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That's not testing a player. So now they'll have to make a decision about what club they use from the tee, and it'll have to be more than perhaps a long iron. And 18, again, it's all about getting the ball on the fairway. So potentially now, coming down the stretch, whereas you might have seen a one or two shot swing in the past and if somebody did something silly, um, now, I mean, you can see a five or six shot swing in those finishing holes if you don't manage to keep yourself together and, and, and keep yourself focused on what you're doing. And frankly, I think that's what people like to see. I'd like to see uh, a tournament that's exciting, where the field is brought together, and I think this golf course will do that. It'll be hard to get, I think, to have a runaway winner here because the winner, when he gets in front here, has now got to make a decision. Does he keep attacking or does he play conservative and protect his lead? And there's, there's always, that's always fraught with danger. I think the strength of the field that we have this year, given the South Africans that we will have here, given the players from Asia, given the players that we'll get from the UK, and given the depth of Australian golf that we have, I think we've got a, you know, a, probably will turn out to be the strongest field in Australian golf.